Hey now sisters, in this video, I will show you how to remove your press ones, especially if you don't have time to get them professionally taken off. If you're gonna need a buffer, a bowl with warm water, cuticle oil, and soap. So I'm starting off with warm water and also about five drops of cuticle oil. Now you want your water to be not hot to the point that, you know, you're getting, like we're getting ready to cook pasta or, um, like collard greens we're not doing that you know you don't want it to be boiling hot we're not doing none of that but you want it to be where it is where um it's like warm enough um to help to dissolve the glue my pinky has the tabs on and my thumb and ring finger has the glue and the index finger is the one with the gel x now you can see that the pinky came off the quick the quickest so this definitely uh, is because the tabs are a lot softer out of all of the products so um i'm testing out to see which one will work the quick quickest and easiest i also find this to be helpful if you have any type of lifting it will definitely make it much easier easier now if you have a nail that is stubborn then you definitely want to use some soap to help it to lift more but i didn't use i didn't have to use that now if you're using the oil when you come out of the water you want your fingers to look like this you want your fingers to look like you just dip your hand in a box of grease and if it doesn't look like this then you need to at least soak it for a little bit longer the next thing that I'm doing is I'm using a cuticle wooden pusher and I'm looking underneath my nail to see where there is any lifting as this will help you to get the nail off a lot quicker. So I'm checking underneath to see any areas. This is where you want to actually start because it is a lot easier for the press one to come off. First, I'm also looking on the other side to see if there's any type of lifting or glue. Um, I'm lightly going under going to go underneath my nail so that I can move that glue away from my natural nail. I'm still checking to make sure that I'm not taking off any layers and you want to be gentle when you're using this tool. Now, if you're a beginner, I highly, highly suggest a wooden pusher or you'll see later in the video a softer tool that you can use versus using a metal tool because you can definitely do a lot of damage with those, um, the metal tool and the e-file if you don't know how to properly use them. Now I'm going on the side again to check to see where the glue is being attached on my natural nails on my thumb. And I'll show you the difference between how you could tell if you know, if you're removing layers from your natural nail or if you're actually removing the glue. And what I'm doing is if any of the nails seem to not, you know, want to come off or they're like stubborn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the water and kind of like massage the oil and the water together to help loosen it as well. Uh, so that's another tip as you know, that you can do as well. It'll help the glue to remove. So I'm working that oil and water together underneath the press on uh, while I'm in the bowl as well. If you don't know, all of these components are made with ingredients of glue. Glue and gel are very flexible and soft, which makes them much easier to dissolve uh, using this method, especially if you also have lifting like I do. So glue doesn't like anything warm, hot, or with steam. And we all know any type of glue is just going to lift uh, it's going to cause it to lift when you have those environments involved. You can see here how this nail is starting to lift up easily. And I'm going to still go slow. You don't want to force or rush the process. You want to really take your time and keep checking. I'm also moving the tool around in certain areas where I see that the glue is still there. I'm not digging this wooden pusher into my nail, I'm actually doing circular motions. And at this point, you don't want to rip off the press one. You wanna still be gentle, gentle and just take your time because if you're ripping, you can definitely rip your natural nail with the glue. And you can see here 
that the glue is still attached to my nails so this is how you i'm going to show you in a minute how you don't want to uh use that tool i'm going to show right about here how see how i'm i'm um digging that tool i didn't show it yet but it's it's coming but right about here right here so this is where you this is how you don't want to use this tool you don't want to be digging into your nail um to try to remove that glue so that's uh digging um so i'll show you later how you want to actually use the, the tool to go in circular motions now this is to get this glue off it's actually better to do it in circular motions versus digging so since that glue is still stuck, I'm just going to try to remove it by attaching it with the cuticle uh, wooden pusher by detaching it with the glue. And you can see here how there's nothing that was removed. My natural nail is still intact. Nothing came off with the press on. So this is exactly what you want. And I'm just going back into the water to kind of loosen some of that glue that is still stuck but now i'm going in and doing the same thing for the other fingers i'm still checking to see if there's any lifting any cracks um this is the one that or if there's any soft spots so that finger had the gel x um so i'm not going to remove that i'm going to use a different tool to actually remove that one because it does require a different type of tool here i'm still going in and i had like to see if there's any lifting i'm checking to make sure i'm turning the finger this finger was um kind of difficult to remove around the perimeter so what i'm going to do in a minute you'll see i'm going to take that tool and kind of like work my way down to remove the glue around the perimeter so i'm just showing here how it's stuck in that middle and you know just work just take your time like i said and work your way around the nail or underneath it depending on where you have a spot that you can actually go into um, to remove it if you find that your press on is not coming off easily just keep dipping your finger back into that water make sure that your water is still hot and warm if it's not and it starts to become cold it will be a lot harder for that glue to start dissolving now i'm working this tool around the perimeter going slow i'm not digging into my skin but i'm trying to go around where that glue is like around the perimeter and on top of the press on so that the glue can kind of start lifting however if you have acrylic on that it acrylic is a much stronger bun which is why you have to use a completely different method than just soaking in oil and water acrylic is like a bridge if it has a good foundation it will be hard to break those bonds without acetone and a foul. So I'm specifically talking to my girls who wear gel legs or press ones in this video. As you can see here, I'm showing how this glue uh, looks. So right here, this is exactly what you want. So anything that looks white, sticky, it has a tacky layer. It almost looks similar to when you remove acrylic. It looks like that so this is what you want to remove not your natural nail layers you don't want any of your layers coming off with the glue and i'll show in a second how you could tell if the if your nail has been peeled off with the glue and the press in the press on so i'm going so i'm going back in the water flicking it around trying to get off the uh glue and it really didn't want to come off you know but just keep working on it like I said, take your time. You might have to put on a, a Netflix movie, you know, something to help you to get <laughs> get through. But just definitely take your time and don't dig into your nail. Now, the next tool that I'm using is a silicone tool, and I'm going to use this for the gel X. I think it's a lot easier to try to use something like this than the wooden. So I'm going to do it. Um underneath and if you have longer nails to even medium nails i'm going to look underneath my nail and make sure i'm not cutting my natural nails i'm going to clip some of this length off this is to help to eliminate the time that it takes you to have to get the press on on off and that way you can only focus on that area that's underneath your nail like if you have any lifting on the side 
I like to do that. And sometimes it helps where it helps you to see where there's any lifting or cracks. Here I'm showing in this area, it is already loosened from that water and oil. So this section is where I'm going to start. And how I'm going to use this tool is you'll see in a second, I'm going to use that tool to do like a snug. I'm going to, I'm, I'm snugging the tool underneath the press on and I'm going to go in a circular motion from one side to the other side. So you can see here how I'm moving it. I'm going also across and once it starts to lift, then I'm going to keep working and turning my fingers so that I can be able to still see where the glue is. And the glue was like around the perimeter and edges. So this is what I'm using to work my way around, kind of rubbing that glue uh, off. I don't want to shove this tool. And you can see here how I'm showing how that glue it looks shiny in that area so this is what you want to start you know looking for and again like i said you don't want to scrape using this tool i'm going around again my perimeter to get the glue off to help loosen it and just keep moving the tool um i'm not digging again like i said into my skin i'm not digging into the natural nail i'm not trying to pull the, the press on off i'm not trying to pop it off I'm just working my way around, taking my time. And this tool is going to help loosen that glue. And then what I'm gonna do after it starts to, you can see here it's starting to lift. I'm gonna go back in with the, I'm gonna, I went back in the water and then I am going back in with my wooden pusher to get a much, to get it, to get the wooden pusher underneath. Um, you know, then to use that tool, it's just easier to do it this way because that tool can't get all the way underneath. It will be a little harder if you try to use this tool with the Gelex. So you can see that here, notice one side of the Gelex has more glue. And this is where you could tell how much glue you actually apply to one area of your press on. And again, this can lead to lifting if you don't have enough product, but you can see how that Gelex came off a lot easier as well. And again, like I said, this method really works if you have worn your press ons for a long time um, or if you have any lifting cracks and it's been a while. So I'm going in with a buffer. This is a 180 buffer and I'm just going in lightly to take off the glue that is left on my natural nails in a circular motion. I'm going down. Um, you don't want to use this tool rough either. You can see here how it's starting to come off and i'm just removing the rest of the glue next i'm gonna go on my thumb to try to remove the rest of it and in another video i probably will show you how you could do the pop off method with your press ons by applying something first um you know and then applying the press ons so i'm just using the edge of that buffer to remove any glue that has been stuck to my natural nails at the top to get it off. I feel like this method definitely works with the soaking of the oil or soap. Like I said, with any type of glue versus acrylic, um, it, it, it will work. So you can see here in a second how my natural nail, it still is in, is in a natural state. It doesn't look like anything is torn, ripped. I really took my time and this is what you want to do. You don't want to be, like I said, ripping or popping off your press ones. And for those of you that are subscribing and interacting with the videos, I really do appreciate that. And I'll see you all in my next video.